Well, now to some really bittersweet news. Uh, today is Amanda Grace's last day here at King 5. She broke the news on air yesterday, and now it's really sinking in. There are people weeping all oh, around stop, this no. news. <laughs> <laughs> now, mostly me, right? <laughs> Who's doing the weeping? Uh, no, I, I just have so many mixed emotions, but I think uh, overwhelmingly, the one thing I feel is gratitude and gratitude to you because you allowed me into your home every night to share what was happening in our community. I mean, you were with me through the stories that broke our hearts, the stories that brought us together, the stories that really made our region stronger. Of course, you were with me through personal milestones too. My pregnancy as I welcomed my daughter Isla, as she took her first step, she said her first words, and then as my son Lewis started preschool, and then he went off to <laughs> kindergarten. Um, I, I love seeing these pictures too. Oh, uh, you know, I, I got to know some of you through Facebook and through Twitter, and of course, uh, many others out in the community. And every step of the way, I've just been so blown away by your kindness. You know, you welcomed me to an anchor desk that has been and still is occupied by the Seattle broadcast legends. Uh, it was incredibly intimidating and really humbling to be in that position, but boy, your support um, made it easier. So it was a very tough decision for, for me to leave King 5 and my wonderful, talented colleagues who I adore. Uh, but I'm really excited for the next chapter of my career. And I'm not going anywhere. I'm still going to be in Seattle. So this is not a goodbye. This is a thank you. It's a, a thank you for watching. Thank you for emailing and commenting, uh, for stopping me in the grocery store to say hello. Telling your stories has been the honor of my career. Well, I have to tell you, Amanda, that uh, meeting you, I really know the meaning of the word class. You oh. have been such a really awesome person. You're just so smart. You're just so gracious. In fact, one of the first things I did when you got here was throw you a baby shower yes. for Isla. Yes. <laughs> and it was hilarious because we had a game where we had to smell. <laughs> We had to smell diapers that were filled with melted candy bars and identify the candy. There's Jean Anderson <laughs> yes. and Natalie Swaby. That's what the diapers are doing. But we had a great time. And despite that embarrassing game, you still was my, you still were my friend. We also had some great times uh, doing the, the Western fair. Washington Fair together. It was just a wonderful time and people got to know us personally. Mm -hmm. And I think that was the best fun of working with you at the fair. They got to know us for who we were. Yeah, oh gosh, we got to meet so many wonderful people and just hear their stories. And they had a chance to talk to us and you know share some of their pictures and we got to take pictures with them. Uh, that's definitely gonna be one of my greatest memories too. Mm. I think for me, Amanda, is that, uh, and I, I don't know if you guys know this at home, but our jobs, th this is a really weird job. You get paired up with people and, and you have to make this relationship work. And the person that sits next to you is absolutely critical to your success and you to theirs. And uh, having you next to me, Amanda, was nothing but an incredible experience. I could always count on you. I knew you were there. If I forgot something, I knew you were there to pick things up if I couldn't move on. But, but just what an amazing team member that you've been. And like Lori said, just complete class. Um, oh. You've been amazing to work with. Well, the, and, the feeling is mutual. I mean, for both of you, you're so easy to work with. <laughs> the nicest people, I mean, th these two are the exact same in person as they are on TV. And um, we too had some great times <laughs> yes. at the fair. Here, here oh, we are. Oh, boy. I had forgotten. You don't about want this. to relive this one, Mark. See, this is this is yeah, going through <laughs> the screen this machine. Huge yeah, that drop. thing was crazy. And then the gerbil <laughs> balls that floated on water, which was one of the craziest things. We both did that together. Mark, is that when you were screaming like a girl? I was. Yeah, I think I so. Screamed, a I screamed bit. a lot. <laughs> but uh, Amanda, just class all the way through, and we know that you are going to be successful in what you're choosing next, and uh, we're gonna miss you. Thank you. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you.